the former Good Morning Britain, GMB, presenter quit his role on the ITV breakfast show by saying he was told by ITV to either apologise or leave following his on-air comments that he did not believe Meghan when she said she felt suicidal as a royal. The episode, which was aired on March 8 this year, became the most complained about moment in the Watchdog's history, with more than 50,000 people complaining. It also later emerged that Meghan had made a formal complaint to ITV about peers. However, Ofcom has now ruled he was entitled to say he disbelieved the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's allegations and to hold and express strong views that rigorously challenged their account. Sussex fans were quick to share their anger at the disgraceful verdict. One person wrote, They've defended the worst behavior. Another added, Disappointing that Ofcom can make this decision. A third user said, Absolute joke. What was the point? And a fourth simply wrote, disgraceful. Other users also shared their disappointment at the result, with one saying, to all the people who were affected by Piss Morgan, him sending a hug. And another person wrote, shows you how important anyone's mental health, bullying and slander are to their code. Quite disgusting really. One other user pointed out that Piers appeared to be getting away with with the numerous negative comments he has made about Meghan over the years, regardless of whether they are true or not. They said, so publicly harassing and abusing someone for years is free speech, who knew? Meanwhile, Piers jokingly asked if he could get his job back as he described the Ofcom ruling as a resounding victory for free speech. He tweeted, I'm delighted Ofcom has endorsed my right to disbelieve the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's incendiary claims to Oprah Winfrey, many of which have proven to be untrue. This is a resounding victory for free speech and a resounding defeat for Princess Pinocchio's. Do I get my job back? The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have not yet responded to Ofcom's ruling.